Well, hello friends. Welcome back to the program. Today, we are gonna fix a little bug. And I don't know exactly where the bug is, but I noticed something uh, this morning when I was messing around that um, if I have this uh, splitter here that I move back and forth and I notice that the cursor becomes kind of a split cursor when I hover over the, the grabbable part of the splitter. Um, and if I alt tab or a window tab more accurately in Serenity's case, um, then um, the cursor changes or doesn't change sometimes, which looks really weird. Like now here I've window tabbed to the uh, terminal and it remains as a splitter cursor until I uh, let go, uh, or rather until I move the cursor the next time. Uh, and same thing here, if I window tab back to the file manager um, and let go, now it became a split cursor right away. So it's a little bit inconsistent. Uh, and I don't really know what's going on, but this definitely looks crappy, right? Uh, looks unpolished. The fact that um, when I highlight another window with the window tab mechanism like this, I feel like it should um, unhover the previously hovered window immediately somehow so that the cursor updates. So click, let's investigate this. And first thing I have to do is apparently start my um, C line. So just uh, I rebooted my machine today to get this new camera thing working. Um, usually I have C line up and running. Let's see. Okay, so where would this be? So Basically, when we use the window switcher to switch between windows, I feel like um, you're manipulating the window stack uh, when you're doing that, right? So I feel like whenever we manipulate the window stack, we should re-evaluate what is the currently hovered window. Um, so let's look in the window switcher. So when I press window um, tab to cycle through the windows, let's see, key tab, mm, on key event. Okay, so we get a on key up. Oh, that's just for dismissing the thing. Okay, so um, wait. If key event is left shift or right shift, we ignore that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Um, and if it's not tab, then we dismiss the thing, sure. But if it is tab, so this is if, if you're pressing the tab key, um, then we figure out the new selected index in the window switcher, and then we select window at index. Okay. Um, and then we're going to choose a highlight window. So the highlight window is... Um, it's a special window in the Windows Server, which is lifted above all the other windows in the Windows stack, despite not actually being at that position yet. So when we render the Windows stack, we render all the windows back to front, uh, excluding the highlighted window if there is one. And then at the very last thing we do is we render the highlighted window. And you can tell that it's highlighted because it has a, a different uh, tint to the um, title bar. So this is a bit reddish. Um, so I feel like I'm not exactly sure how this should work, but uh, let's see if we have this thing right here. Yeah, so when we set a highlight window, we should probably reevaluate hover. Although, can you interact with the highlighted window, I wonder? You can only move it around, really. Like, you can't actually click on these things because all these all the clicks right now go to the window server and that happens because I'm holding the window key or the super key so uh, all my mouse events get processed by window server anyway uh, as window management events so I can't really meaningfully interact with this window despite it being up top 
but I would still like the cursor to change. I feel like that would still be reasonable. Um, and for that to happen, we have to, let's see, when we switch to highlight window. So window manager set highlight window. Uh, let's see, the highlight window is global across all stacks. That's because we can only have one and we want to be able to highlight it during transitions. Sure, that makes sense. So if you're like switching between desktops, for example, um, wait, can you even do that? I don't, I don't know how we would even do that. Oh my goodness, you actually can do that. <laughs> That's so weird. Um, and you'll notice that this window remains uh, highlighted during that transition. Also, it feels weird that I drag a window like that, and then it doesn't show up here when the, um, I mean, I understand that it doesn't show up here because it's a different desktop, but it feels like it should show up since we're f like physically moving the windows in this animation. Uh, it's weird that it just cuts off suddenly. Um, but anyway. Let's see. So what were we doing? We want to send a new, I guess we want to send a mouse move event to whoever the cursor is under now after highlighting. So um, if the new highlight window is the previous highlight window, that's a no op. So we just return. That's good. And Maybe we can just do one of those re-evaluate hovered window. Um, wait, I forget what that API does. Updated window. Hmm. Oh, okay. So you pass in a window that has changed somehow, and it re-evaluates whether that window is in a hovered state or not. Um, this API name is a bit weird. Um, wonder what it, what will be a better name? Like reevaluate hover state for window. Because when you say hovered window, it sounds like the window is hovered, um, but it might not be. So what you're really reevaluating is the hover state. Um, hmm. Let's rename that before anything else. Reevaluate hovered. Reevaluate hover state for window. Mm, continue anyway. Also, why can you pass null to that? That's so weird. Somebody calls it with null. Okay. Did switch window. Oh, when you switch to a different window stack. So when you move to a different um, workspace, then there is no currently hovered window anymore, I guess. Hmm. That feels a bit weird. Anyway, um, let's, let's just uh, commit that rename before we do anything else. Windows server, rename, update, um, reevaluate hovered window. Evaluate hover state um, to reevaluate hover state for a window. Um, the this name is not super great either, but at least it doesn't sound like a window um, is currently, is necessarily currently being hovered. Yeah. Uh, let's not get caught up on a perfect name for that. Let's move forward. So um, we wanted to check if we can call that in set highlighted, set, set highlight window set highlight window. So after you assign a new highlight window, we invalidate the screen, blah, blah, blah. Um, 
I feel like we can we can reevaluate the hover state before we invalidate on the off chance that um, sending a mouse event before a paint event could end up saving a bunch of time. Like if something in the UI of the target target application uh, changes as a result of receiving the hover state, um, it might render differently, right? So it's better that we let it know that it's hovered before we do a paint. Um, even though it's all asynchronous, this still gives us a better chance of, um, or this avoids the scenario where you would accidentally paint the unhovered state and then have to repaint the hovered state immediately after. Yeah, so it's, that's a good thing. Um, so new highlight window. And if we had a previous one, same same idea there. Reevaluate hover state for window. Previous highlight window. Hmm. Okay, let's see if that works. Oh, 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 look at that. <laughs> that totally works. Oh, man, that's so nice. OK. So it just updates it right away. Um, no need to wait. No need to move the mouse one extra time. Um, that's really cool. wonder what happens if it's obscured by the window switcher. So like, if you're here, you bring up the window switcher, uh, and then you let go. Ooh, look at that. Then it breaks. Hmm. So when the window switcher goes away, it doesn't do this thing. OK, so then we got to fix that as well. But that seems like a separate issue. But since we're here, let's just fix that one as well. Um, yeah, as long as you're not on top, like put the cursor on top of the window switcher, because then it becomes a um, regular arrow cursor. Arrow cursor. Um, yeah. Oh, man, that's so nice. OK. So let's see. Very simple change. Uh, Windows server. Uh, Reevaluate hover um, state when switching highlight windows. Um, this makes the. Um, this uh, makes the mouse cursor update nicely um, when another window is brought uh, directly under it by using the window switcher. Eh. Yeah, very neat. OK. Um, and then when you dismiss the window switcher, which we had a hide function, yeah. So what does that do? Set visible false, sure. And what does set visible do? It marks the window as non-visible and validates all occlusion data. So at this point, I feel like we simply need to reevaluate hover state once again. So set visible. Um, oh, interesting. So when we change the visibility state of a window, we don't tell the window manager to reevaluate hover states. Seems like we really should, because making a window invisible can obviously reveal something underneath it. Um, so whatever the new state is here, we need to um, reevaluate hover state for window. Um, it is visible now, so it will show up in the window stack. Um, so it should be fine to just do that here. So like that. Let's test that out. OK, so when I let go, oh, cursor becomes an I-beam. Look at that. That's so nice. OK, and then when I close this, it goes back to a arrow cursor for the desktop. Interesting. OK, so that's that's awesome. 
Uh, I feel like that probably already worked because of something else. Because um, it's not just that we make the window invisible when you close the terminal like that. Let's test without that fix. Um, so if I close this, yeah, it still reverts to an arrow cursor. I think when you close the application and you like disconnect the terminal from the Windows server, um, something else triggers a hover reeval. Um, but in this case, we're only like hiding the Windows switcher window, not actually destroying it or anything. So for that reason, we need to um, we need to do this. But that is just excellent. Let's see if it works with this thing as well. So if I have one of those, um, let's see. Mm. Look at that. It becomes the split cursor. Very awesome. OK, let's commit that. Window server, reevaluate hovered. Um, hover state is what I call it. Um, after dismissing Windows Switcher. Yes, this um, makes the cursor update properly. Um, if it was above the window switcher while it was visible uh, and something underneath it wants uh, a non-standard error. <laughs> Some wants to use a non-arrow cursor. Non-arrow cursor, that sounds so weird. Use something other than the default arrow cursor. Yeah. OK. So I think that was the first bug I wanted to fix. And then we picked up this second one for free. So this was the polish I wanted to make a video about um, and also test out my new camera. I hope it looks OK. So if you made it this far, then I thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you saw something interesting here and um, that Maybe somebody out there appreciates these little moments of um, system polish the same way I do. Uh, I'm, I find this type of work extremely satisfying. And I think the more stuff like this we do, the better the system feels. So it's just, it's just a really nice thing worth doing. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for hanging out. And I will see you next time. Bye.